Hey, this is Paul from Jitterbit, and I am super excited to show you today our powerful and fast and great Cloud Studio. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to integrate NetSuite and Salesforce.com, and we're going to do it in real time. All right, so we're going to start off with a new account, Clipper Ships Incorporated in lovely Seattle, Washington on 15 Commodore Way. And I'll hit save. And what's going to happen here is this is going to send a Salesforce outbound message, right? And this is a very powerful tool, but a little bit misunderstood by the Salesforce awesome admins. And we're going to get into that real quick. All right. So what's going to happen is, is that that outbound message is going to land on a Jitterbit API request. I'm going to capture some of that information. I'm going to load that up to create a customer in NetSuite and then uh, NetSuite responds with their ID and I load that back into Salesforce. So we have, uh, you know, belt and suspenders there. We have our, our key fields so we can match each other. All right. Now that should be complete by now. And we should check in here into our details page. And let me just refresh this page real quick. And we will see that NetSuite ID in here right now. And we'll see those details in the NetSuite ID field. And then we'll go into NetSuite and we'll type in customer Clipper, capital C Clipper, Clipper ships. All right, and you'll see the info over here now. Now, okay, that's cool, that's fast. I'm gonna gloss over how awesome that is because I'm gonna show you something even more awesome. All right, what's really even more awesome is the capacity to utilize this simple tool to build opportunities and line items in NetSuite. Now, there are limitations to the outbound message, but we don't care because we are Jitterbit and we can do whatever we want with the data once we get a little bit of information. Okay, so Clipper Ships, we're gonna sell them some cleats because that's what Clipper Ships need. If you don't know what a cleat is, it's the little like wishbone looking thing that you use to tie a ship off. All right. Now, Cleats, Cleat was uh, created, and now we're going to add some products here. All right, and uh, we're in the opportunity Cleat, and we need to add our products. So let's go to Add Products, and we're going to add our NetSuite products that we have loaded up in here. Okay, we're going to sell some serious Cleat action right now. We're going to sell nine to the, of these, eight of these. I don't know, let's try 18 of these, 55 of these, and 985 of these. All right, we've got some deals going on here. All right, we'll hit save. Now, to send this outbound message out, we're gonna, this guy's just did a one call close. He's, he's an awesome salesman, all right? And uh, we'll send this over to closed one, and uh, we'll hit save. Now, this is the limitation of the Salesforce outbound message. The only thing you can send is this header information and you can't send the line items, all right? And that's not real, <laughs> that's not reality, right? And the, typically what people do is they'll start going to code and then it gets hard, right? But with Jitterbit, it's really easy. So what you're gonna do is that API request lands in here, right? And then, We'll go to view, and all I'm gonna capture out of this outbound message, I'm just gonna grab my opportunity ID. And I'm gonna to return to the, my workflow here, and then what I do is I query back into Salesforce with that opportunity ID. I just write a simple SQL, I don't even write it. I just have the wizard write it for me. Simple SQL message, which says from uh, opportunity, give me the account record and these line items. All right, so there's my NetSuite ID and my products. All right, I'll return to the workflow. And let's just, I'll just show you that it does exist in uh, NetSuite at this time. We'll go into sales, we'll go into items purchased. There are those crazy numbers, right? Awesome. And we'll go back over here to Salesforce. I'll refresh this guy real quick and we'll see the NetSuite order ID. And we'll see Einstein pedaling away furiously. Details order ID, all right, all matched up, okay? Again, outbound message lands, query back, get those line items, and then I'm gonna just load them up into 
NetSuite. And you know, NetSuite gives you a lot of opportunity to uh, put a lot of information into this order creation process. Um, but you know, it turns out that you might not need everything from Salesforce. You're just going to use a little bit of that data. So again, huge, huge XML structure here on the NetSuite side, and you'll see just how much data you can put in here. But in reality, all we're doing is just using a couple little fields here. Let me, uh, let me scroll down, and you'll see just how much information is here. There's my Salesforce opportunity ID as a reference, but boy, they sure do give you a lot of opportunity to go and just give you so much information in here. But Jitterbit has no problem handling it whatsoever. There's my items. There's that product code from my products and there's my quantity, and you're done. It's awesome, right? Of course, yeah, you might need to put more information into your order process for your business requirements, but that's all it really takes. So let's move you all into the 21st century here and start doing integrations in real time between the two platforms, Salesforce and NetSuite, two great tastes that taste great together, sort of like the Reese's Pieces, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of peanut butter. Mmm. Hey, I hope you had a great time watching this demo, as much of a great time as I had doing it for you. Great little uh, solution for all of you uh, Salesforce admins out there and all of you NetSuite admins. Drag and drop functionality for Jitterbit to do real-time integrations between the, the two amazing clouds that are out there. So my name is Paul, and that's between you all. Take care.